see better days. Tell a fan sorry, I let him wait. Shit up there like a Saturday. Listen to me, how beat the speed up like a battle. Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy Kofi with Kale Sports Talk back at with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing the Caleb Williams interview um, today. So, and yesterday, Caleb Williams met with the uh, Chicago Bears media kind to kind of discuss um, what his plans are for the Chicago Bears and uh, his 10 minute interview that he had with the Chicago Bears. So, Caleb Williams, he was just kind of reiterating um, uh, his his interview that he had with Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus. He said a lot of the discussions that they had was, you know, um, pretty good. They were just giving him him uh, a pretty um, basic structure of where his mind is at, um, whether he, you know he's a winner, what his plans are if he decides to get drafted by the Bears, and what he's going to do, you know, when he gets drafted by the Bears. And Caleb Williams, he just kind of reiterated. That of course that he is a winner. Um, he also kind of talked about that um, how important it is, you know, um, to pretty much just galvanize the team and understand where the team's mind at, especially before uh, and after being prepared for a game. Um, during um, the interview, a lot of the reporters were got just kind of talking about whether or not, you know, is it okay for the quarterback to kind of be in the pocket to deliver the ball and how to be an escape artist. And, you know, he talked about at times, you know, of course, you know, if he had to, if at all, if push come to shove, drafted too. But I'm going to put the link in the interview and I'm also going to give you some clips um, within the interview for you to look at. But that's all that I have for today, guys. I just kind of wanted to get, kind of give you guys that update in regards to uh, Caleb Williams' uh, interview. But stay tuned for more updates. Oh, yeah. And also, 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 um, the trade rumors in regards to Justin Fields and the Atlanta Falcons. You know, there are reports that the Atlanta Falcons were close to trading uh, Justin Fields what to the Atlanta Falcons, but like I said, those rumors are just kind of up in the air. There's nothing really concrete at this point. You know, Ryan Poles is just trying to kind of keep his cards to himself. He's not trying to reveal too much to the, um, the media. All he really is is just trying to drive up that number one pick, but um, like I said, guys, stay tuned for more updates in regards to the Chicago Bears. But like I said, guys, as always, this is your boy Kofi. Um, Chicago up, bear down. All right, guys. Um, it was, it was, um, the room wasn't as packed. They had just a few guys here. Um, and, 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 you know, we talked mainly about ball. Uh, it was a, it was a good impression. They were asking me questions, um, about my life, um, about ball. Um, tested me and things like that. So all of them kind of, all of the meetings were good, um, and they were all kind of in the same ballpark. Everybody, you know, you don't, they don't really get to see you and test your mental. So uh, this quick, this quick 10, 20 minutes that they have, you know, that's what they're mainly doing, trying to get out of you. It's not a thought in my mind. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm, that I'm not going to be number one. Um, I think I put in all the. All the hard work, um, all of the, you know, the time, effort, energy um, into into you know being that. Um, so you know, I don't think of a plan B. That's that's kind of how I do things in my life. I don't think of a plan B. Stay on plan A, um, and then when things don't work out, find a way to make plan A work. Shit up there like a Saturday. Listen to me, happy.